Hello and welcome back to another review for today's video with the Jimmy Airborne Inflatable six foot tall at home swaying dancing Santa. This sold back in 2015 for with a retail price of $99.99. I bought this off of eBay several months ago. It's just been hanging out uh, in its cardboard box and it was actually packaged very well. I was super impressed. The box doesn't have too much wear and tear. It looks very good. It's the same box art as my 2013 16 foot Santa. This box art was used for multiple years and it did carry over to at home 2015. You can see at the back right there, it says 2015. It is in pre-owned condition. I paid, I think around 70 to 80 bucks for it on eBay. And I think that's a perfectly fine deal. I was very geared towards completing the combo of the swing dancing inflatables. I have the 2021 low saxophone snowman, the 2021 Home Depot tree, and then I wanted a Santa to throw in there as well. I actually do not own the 2022 saxophone snowman that sold at Lowe's. Just because there's already a snowman, it felt like overkill. I think they were really milking that concept because it sold so well. It was definitely the best selling 2021 inflatable was that saxophone snowman. But then I saw this and I, I didn't even know that this existed when I saw it on eBay, but I was super impressed and knew I had to have it. So here it is. We'll take another look at the box. It is kind of just the same thing on all sides. But as you can see, uh, it looks like there's a few LEDs in the chest area. Not sure. There's probably one in the head right there. I don't think there are two though. And then it's looking like it stops right around, uh, maybe just above where the knees would be. And then you do have a small snow area down at the base. Animated air balloon inflatable right there. And then six feet tall or 1.8 meters. Now that pretty much does it for the box. Let's go ahead and open it up. Indicative of a dancing inflatable, you've got your little adjustable clip that's attached to each leg of the base. They are quite useful. I, I don't know if I used it for the tree, but I think I did end up using it for the saxophone snowman. We'll take a look at what type of fan it has. Give me just one second. As expected, it does have a YF60. Zoom in on it right there. The snowman, I think, had an 80, but the dancing tree, I think, had a 60. It falls right in line with that. Anyway, we'll go ahead and inflate it. Beginning the breakdown of the six foot animated Santa, you might notice there's a change of scenery. That is my room is not exactly the best place to inflate really any inflatable, let alone a base fan. So we're outside now. Upon first glance, you might notice there's a little bit of fading right here, just below the belt buckle. Not too bad, it's not really noticeable. It wouldn't be noticeable at night by any means, but during the daytime, if you're really close, you will see it. This inflatable has five C7s and they're distributed a little bit differently than what might appear on the box. You do have one right above where his feet would be. And then just above that, there is one kind of right there, almost where the crease is for where this inflatable divides. One in the chest and then one in the head. So you do have five C7s total. I will move towards the back here momentarily just to get a better look at that. The inflatable itself is a very generic design, but it doesn't need to be anything too complicated. This is actually our only, I think, dancing, swaying, whatever, Santa inflatable that's not Hawaiian or Christmas in July themed. It is the only one, and this is a concept that I feel like they could easily remake, and I don't think people would be too unhappy, just because it's been, at this point, eight years since we've gotten it and it would be a pleasant surprise to see it return. It would also be nice to have that be a theme with Lowe's going forward. You know, Lowe's is very much going downhill these past few years, and it would be nice to have kind of a staple of a, some sort of dancing Christmas inflatable every year, and then they could bring the Santa back in that way. Moving towards the side, you'll notice there is no tether attachment. That is, with these swaying inflatables, there is a feature on them that is consistent throughout, and that is the tether attachment is always located in the front and back. This ends up presenting a problem because it is seen both day and night, and you can't have the tether attachments on the side because that's the direction that the inflatable is moving. So what I've done is I put it solely on the back tether attachment. Let me move around here, get up on this bank. 
and you can see it is attached right there. The bad part about doing this is it gives the inflatable a slight lean towards the back. If I can step, I'm not in ultra wide right now, so I kind of got to do my best. I just think that this looks a little bit better and that's definitely annoying. I wasn't even planning on staking it down for this review because I figured it would be fine. I mean, it is a flat surface, but when it came time to inflate it, I was met with much difficulty as it had a lot of trouble standing up and then you know actually staying like this it would not do it naturally i played with it a little bit the first two attempts did not go so well it was not staked down for those the third attempt third time's a charm it decided to do it and it is you know how you're seeing it i honestly don't recommend getting these swaying inflatables unless you want to kind of play with that it's not too difficult it's just know that there's going to be a little bit of give and take the the cost of having it be upright like this is that it will lean back some but i really don't think that's a big price to pay because you almost can't even notice that it's doing it that's just me being a little ocd about it this is definitely the best option because you're not having the obscurity of the tethers in the front you're having them only in the back where they're not visible and it's not leaning one way or the other. I wanna hone in a little bit on the back side of it, so we'll take a look at it in closer detail. As I lift up this flap right here for kind of his jacket, you'll notice there are two zippers. Now the bottom zipper is to access C7s as well as the actual animation motor, and we'll take a quick peek at that right now. A little difficult, but there it is. It will obviously want to fall over, but if I can focus in on that, yeah, so there you go, you can see it. Next we have the top zipper, open that up a little bit. There's not a whole lot in the chest, only a C7 right there. You can actually see the back side of that tether attachment. And then there's an arm, the head is right there where one C7, the, the fifth and final one, uh, is hanging out by where the hat is. So close this up, that's about it. It's got, I wouldn't exactly say an hourglass build, but it's got something like that. It does cut off right here, so the fabric will actually go all the way back so that it's just basically swishing back and forth along this, and it obviously has to be you know, engineered like that, and it works pretty well. I just would probably put a more powerful fan on it so we're not dealing with all this leaning. If they move forward with these swaying inflatables, like it seems like they're doing, they've done it back-to-back -back years with uh, 21 and 22, I'd like to see that improvement, no doubt. Just glossing over it again, it does feel like it's been lightly used aside from that little yellowing below the belt. I think this inflatable is cool, but there are some very strong annoyances to it. I'd recommend it if you can find this particular version, but just know that with these swaying inflatables, you're going to encounter probably some frustrations. When you put them all together, I think it's gonna look really good and we'll do that later in the review, just stick around. However, there are going to be a few obstacles you might have to get through. It's not anything big, just play with it a little bit and eventually you'll find it and get it right. So thank you all so much for watching this review and I'll catch you later. Peace out. Bye.